Yeah, there's a storm coming in here. I gotta. This video's got to be under 40 minutes. I need to clean out my phone. Um, yeah, it's gonna be kind of windy during this video, but I'm inside a car anyway. But uh, so I'm gonna do uh, like a response to a video I made. I made this video around Halloween, and uh, recently, it's funny. This popped up into my feed. Uh, so, um. I made a video about where I was reacting. I didn't even, I couldn't even monetize the video, I guess, because I was using someone else's video, which I should have just erased it right then and there. <laughs> but I also thought it was entertaining. So um, I did a video where I was reacting to, you ever heard of these two kids, Sam and Colby? They go and they go investigate haunted houses and shit. The reason I heard of them was they were on Joe Rogan, and they were very convincing on Joe Rogan. Now, do I believe they're con artists or something? No. But you also got to realize I'm not, I wasn't very familiar with them when I made the video. I, so anyways, they go to the Conjuring house, and I, I had watched other videos of theirs, which none of it ever really convinced me of anything, but I did find it entertaining. They just have all these little devices they put around that I I believe these devices that they use are built to be set off by the slightest thing. So this way they have content. Be like, oh, there's a ghost over there. The thing's lighting up. You know what I mean? I don't believe it's any type of accurate <laughs> measurement to paranormal activity. Um, it's just entertaining, you know what I mean? I'm into Halloween, I'm into ghosts. Do I believe in ghosts? Yeah, I believe in them. Have I ever seen one? No. Do And so here's the thing. So um, I have had like, I've had experiences in my, in my life that made me believe that there's more going on than just what you can see. You know what I mean? It's, watch my previous videos, like why I was homeless. I, I've witnessed things in my life where there's no explaining it. So anyways, um, yeah, it's going to start pouring. I hate to have to rush. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll have to cut the video short and just redo it. But so, um, you know, these, the Sam and Colby. Now, do I think they're flat out dishonest con artists? No, I think they're, they're influencers. You know what I mean? So, you can't take any influencer too seriously. They're going to do what, whatever it takes to get to get the numbers, you know. So, um, anyways, they had these two people in the Conjuring house named Satori and I think Cody, maybe. And they do this thing where they hold hands, and apparently when they hold hands they can communicate with ghosts. They ask questions, and the ghosts answer by knocking. And I'm not going to lie, I was fooled by it. <laughs> but only because I'm like, yeah, it's hard to believe, but I've, I've witnessed firsthand things that are hard to believe. But I was thinking to myself, first of all, they were saying they don't do it for money. Uh, they seem very honest, although I got to say, after learning more about them, I don't believe them for one second. And re really, I shouldn't have put up a video where I'm like, oh, this, I think it's real. <laughs> like, I should have looked into it a little more. But here's my, lo my logic was uh, they don't do it for money. So there goes their motivation. What, 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 what would be the point in doing this hoax if not for money? But I'll get to that. And then the other thing was I was thinking you would have to be kind of messed up to be lying to people about being in contact with their dead relatives. It's it's a nasty thing to do. It, it So I'm thinking to myself, these two little innocent kids, they're not that type. That's what I was thinking. And then on top of that, the, the Sam and Colby reacting to it when they're like, oh, your grandmother's here and they're using the grandmother's nickname. I'm like, well, how the hell would they know his grandmother's nickname? As it turns out now, Recently, <laughs> this shit is, it's really messed up. So recently, I, a video popped up in my feed saying Satori and Cody, the knocking method debunked or something. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> so I watched it 
and boy, they debunk the shit out of these two. So it's it's pretty convincing when you see it at first. Like I said, I wasn't really convinced by what they were doing. I was convinced by the fact that their motivation for faking it would be money, but they're not getting paid to do it. As it turns out, they are getting paid to do it. And then the other thing I was thinking was, these two little innocent mother are not the type who are going to be playing with people's emotions like that. That's a, that's a, that's something you got to be pretty cold. You know what I mean? It's a nasty thing that they're doing. Really, it's... I, I, I don't, you know, they don't see it that way. They probably see it as like, oh, we're spreading positivity and making people believe. Well, a lie is a lie, you know what I mean? So making people believe something that is not true is wrong. I don't care if it's going to save the world. It, you can't save the world based on a lie. You can't do good based on a lie. It's not real. It, you know what I mean? There's, if, if, it, it, you can't build off of that. It, it's a lie is a lie. So that's probably their justification for doing it. But so now when I'm watching the debunking video thing, I think I put too much oil in my hair, whatever. So as they're going through it, I'm like, wow, that's and I don't want the you know, it's not like I hate these people or something. I just it's like really messed up. So what apparently what they do, what the dude somehow pops his ankle or something, which kind of knocks on the floor. It sounds like, how the hell would someone pop their ankle that loud, that loud? But the guy debunking the video was doing it himself. <laughs> He's knocking on the floor by popping his joints out and shit. I'm like, I guess it is possible. And then, you know, the other issue, yeah, this wind is nasty, is they're not doing it for money. So what would be their motivation? Well, they don't charge people to do it so it's not like they're not making money like that but they are making money off of being um you know the promotion of it they have some sort of paranormal museum or some shit that they you know um they they work for the conjuring house which means draw drumming up business for the place is going to make them more money so they are doing it for for money in a roundabout way it is about money so, really, it's my mistake for just not questioning it. But really, I was just trying to make an entertaining Halloween video, and I thought it was interesting. And really, to be honest, I I wasn't basing anything off it. I'm like, oh, I think it's real. But here's the thing. I've, I've believed in, you know, paranormal activity for a long time. So, but here's the other thing. Um... I don't want there to be any definitive proof either way. I don't I, I like not knowing. That's part of the fun of life is not knowing. I'll put it to you this way. If I knew everything that was going to happen, I'd be bored out of, out of my mind. You know what I mean? So I, I like to have my own beliefs based on my own experiences in life. I don't want anyone to prove that there are definitely ghosts and, or, or that they definitely are not. I don't. I mean, if someone proves it, I'm going to look at the proof, but um, I prefer it to be up in the air. I find that more entertaining. So, um, what else was I going to say? Oh, so the deeper they go into these two history. Now, first of all, I did mention this in the video. The girl Satori, her father, works for... Um, there used to be this show called Ghost Hunters that was on TV when I was younger. And I used to watch it. I found it entertaining and... I did, I did find it a little strange how every single episode they, they find some shred of proof. But now, years later, this was probably around 2010, 2011, I was watching Ghost Hunters on YouTube. And a video comes up that says, like, Ghost Hunters busted doing some shit. So I'm like, oh, wow, let, let me watch this. Now, one of the dudes from the Ghost Hunters show, I forget his name. But he's like he's like the most trustworthy one, the one you would think like this guy ain't gonna lie about some anyway. So now I've tried to look this up recently and it's gone. I I don't know how they got it taken off YouTube. Maybe one of you you guys can find it. But so it was Ghost Hunters Live, and the they it was like a live show where they were searching for ghosts in some place or something. 
And so I, I had never seen this episode, but I was watching the debunking episode. And it, it's amazing how blatantly... I, I couldn't believe it. So <laughs> the dude who's the most trustworthy one on the show, who goes out of his way to seem trustworthy and, and honest. And so, you know, apparently in the Ghost Hunters live show, there was live... They caught it live. The ghost pulled on his shirt. So as he's walking and the ghost hunter camera is behind him, you see his shirt get pulled down. And at, at first glance, it looks very realistic. He's like, oh, a ghost just pulled my shirt. And everyone's like, oh, my God. They're like, let's watch the video. And they're all, it seems convincing until this debunker breaks it down. And you notice that he's got a string in his hand attached to his own jacket running through the jacket. So when he pulls it, his jacket pulls down. And once you're looking at his right hand, it happens right in sync, you know what I'm saying, with with the jacket. And so when when I saw that around 2011, I was like, oh, so everything's fake, you know. If they're going to fake one thing, they're going to fake it all. So, you know, I pretty much lost interest in the show at that point. But now, as it turns out, one it, the, the, it's um, one of the people from that show, his daughter is the girl Satori. Now, between the two of them, Satori and Cody, who do this method, I think he's the mastermind. I don't think, I think she's just playing along with her man. I think they're married or something. And so, but here's the thing, where there's smoke, there's fire. Her father's already connected to this show, which they in my opinion any credibility they had is completely ruined they they still run a paranormal research thing but to be honest i don't take them seriously because they've been caught faking it on you know what i'm saying they've only been caught faking it once everything else they did no one could really catch it or debunk it but you know where there's smoke there's fire if they're willing to lie they're willing to fake they're willing to hoax then they're willing to do it. So you can't trust any evidence they present. That's how I feel. Now, the the girl who's his daughter, she's connected to that. In my opinion, if you're connected to the people doing the hoax live, uh, you know, it, 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 they were so caught. It, uh, so it just, if, you know, you, you can't, I, I just, I don't trust any of it. You know what I mean? So anyways... Now, once the debunker really starts going deep into it, so now I watched multiple videos of them being debunked, and I also watched an interview with them <clears throat> after all the controversy with all these people trying to debunk them, and they're like calling them haters and stuff, and I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, they're not haters, they're, they're trying to figure out if what you're doing is true or not. It's, it makes you look like an idiot to act like it's a personal vendetta, because they're just trying to they're trying to figure out what's true and what isn't. That's not hating. So they're in this interview, and <laughs> the interviewer really kind of nails him on a few things. He, first of all, he goes, <laughs> he's like, so according to Cody and Satori, when they hold hands, paranormal spirits appear and stuff, which is a little strange in and of itself. Why two people holding hands is going to open this door to the spirit world. That's that's really, metaphysically, that's not my understanding. Uh, if you're interested in the physics and quantum physics and metaphysics of this type of stuff, go on my Patreon. I go over all that shit. And here's the thing with me. I'm open to debate. If anyone can debunk, I'm open to it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You know what I mean? But... What I do on Patreon is I'm not tapping into one source. I'm tapping into many sources. And as time goes on, I've got a list of shit to go through on there. And it's all consistent. So <clears throat> you just have to go on there to see what I'm talking about. But uh, I'm not basing it, my beliefs off of like one thing. There's multiple things. And what's funny is... The deeper you go into this, into what I'm doing on Patreon, the the more information is revealed to you. But you can find other sources. The deeper you go, you find other ways to. Anyway, just go on my Patreon, curious. But so um, now in the interview, they said, so how did 
you guys come up with so what they do is they hold hands they're like uh is anyone here with us and you'll hear like they'll be like tap one for yes two for no and you tap well there's a ghost here like okay i'm gonna go through the alphabet what's your name just knock when i get to the letter like a b c knock oh it's c uh, you know like this is how they communicate with the ghost. They go through the alphabet, and the ghost knocks when they get to the letter of whatever. You understand what I'm saying? And they spell out words. So, in the interview, they're like, so, how did you guys discover this method? They're like, well, we used to go on paranormal investigations, and every time it was me and her, that we'd see all kinds of ghosts and there'd be all kind of evidence and shit. They're like, so we started figuring, oh, maybe it's us two. Next thing you know, they're holding hands and doing the alphabet and talking to ghosts. I, uh, in a nutshell. And the interview is like, well, how did you guys come up with the alphabet knocking method? And the girl is like, I'll take credit for that one. I came up with it. And then later on in the interview, he's like, well, a funny thing. 11 years ago, we found Cody doing it by himself, going through the alphabet, knocking the whole thing solo. The girl's not there. It's just him. And they had said, it only works when we hold hands. And she came up with the alphabet thing. Meanwhile, 10, 11 years earlier, he, she's, um, he's doing it solo. So, you know, it's like they basically busted him right there and then as you go deeper and uh, apparently the mechanic wants my attention let me um let me finish what i'm doing here though so then you go deeper and as it turns out the dude cody well he works in the same paranormal research company that the girl's father does and so and they've already been caught fake and shit before anyways so he apparently 10 i don't know 10 years ago or something he was god damn these mosquitoes i go to scratch myself and i squash a mosquito it's like now i got blood god dude, i i really hate mosquito mosquitoes are the worst creature on earth bro anyways so um so they show him 10 11 years earlier and he's selling paranormal research equipment un- under a company that a des uh tech or something and what it is that he's trying to sell for 10 11 dollars it's a cat toy that apparently it lights up when the wind hits it or something and then the cat goes and plays with it and he's selling them for 10 11 bucks a piece of, and then they show that you could buy them off alibaba or timu for 500 of them for like you know 100 bucks or something so he's selling cat toys as paranormal detecting equipment for like a thousand percent <laughs> profit margin. It, not something an honest person would do. You know what I mean? So after going through all this stuff, and then the other thing is they're like, well, um, if we can just get you guys to do it with your shoes off, then you can prove that you're not knocking with your ankle or whatever. And when they're showing videos of it, you can see his leg moving slightly. I mean, he's good at it. Don't get me wrong, but I don't. It, I just don't believe it anymore. Now that I've seen, I, you know, I should have researched it myself before I go making a video about it and being like, "Oh, I think it's real," <laughs> because I don't want to be promoting dishonest bullshit. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm actually disappointed in myself for believing it so readily and quickly, but. It just, you know, I they don't seem like the type who... It, it's such a sociopathic, psychotic thing to do, really, to be lying. Oh, we're talking to your dead grandmother, like your dead mother. It's, it's a nasty thing to do, especially for money. You know what I mean? So, anyways, so now they're like, well, if you could just do it with your shoes off and prove that you're not knocking with your joints or whatever the fuck they're doing. They, they explain it in the debunking video to the point where you're like I, I don't believe it for a second anymore anyway so you know the the chick is doing all the talking which is convenient because I believe the dude is the real mastermind behind the whole thing so he lets her do all the explaining and shit so 
she's like, well, I don't want my feet being fetishized on the internet or something. And then they cut to another clip of her doing it in the sandals in a previous time where you're like, well, that's not obviously the reason because you're doing it in your bare feet. He's wearing sneakers, but she's in like sandals. So, it, it, you know, it's just, it's all dishonest. All right, it's starting to rain, but there's things I want to add to this. So <clears throat> now... <clears throat> they get in touch with Sam's grandma, <clears throat> and they use her nickname. I'm thinking, how the hell would these two know that? As it turns out, when you gotta, when you want to visit the Conjuring House, you gotta give them your full name. You gotta sign up in advance. Once now, the de- debunker with just the guy's full name found out, f- found out his grandmother's nickname. His grandmother f- found f- he f- found out everything that these two went through. But here's the other thing. The way that Sam and Colby were reacting, they're crying. They think they're in touch with their actual dead relatives and shit. So I'm like, these two, uh, Satori and Cody, they'd, ha- they'd have to be pretty messed up to, to do this to people. You know what I mean? So, But as it turns out, all the information they gave was available on the Internet. And then they showed other experiences with other people, not Sam and Colby. And one of the dudes was like, well, if you're talking to my grandfather, tell me something that only he would know. And they're like, oh, well, another spirit wants to talk now. They just, you know. And then another thing that apparently one of the people's grandfather likes cigars. He's like, "Uh, tell my grand, the ghost is saying, tell my grandson to have a cigar for me. And the grandson's like, what type of cigar? <laughs> They're like, duh. Like, they couldn't come up with anything. So then the other thing wh- where Sam and Kobe did a video where they were, they were trying to debunk it themselves. They take Cody and Satori to some park somewhere. Now, it is. It's hard to explain how they did this because they come up with... Uh, some spirit that died in the area recently, but as it turns out, you could Google that, but it's like, how the hell did they have an idea where it would go, you know, like, because Sam and Kobe take them to some random park to do it, and you gotta hand it to them, they they did their research, and they found probably a bunch of dead around that area that they could pretend to communicate with. Now, you gotta be a real sociopath to take it this far, in my opinion, and they didn't strike me as that type, so, but the the real clincher here was, they were, the, the name for the spirit they found was spelled wrong in the first Google results, and, but once you go deeper in it, the name is pronounced differently, so, when they're like, oh, this is the ghost we're talking to, they were saying the, the name as the misspelled first few results. They really got, they, they got busted. So, you know, um, now they, they, they swear up and down that it's real and they're willing to do further testing or something. I'm curious to see it myself because, you know, the fact that the, the 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 motherfucker was slick enough to Google all the dead in the whole area, so that w- whatever random area they took him to, they were going to come up with some sort of spirit that died in that area recently. I mean, you really the it, it this dude is putting in a lot of work to can to keep this hoax going, I, really. So, um, apparently, you know. Um, and then another thing they did, they're, like, they're in some dance studio, and they were like, um, they asked them to take their shoes off and do it, and they're like, oh, the spirits don't want to do that, or something. I mean, they got busted seven ways to Sunday, you know what I mean? They, they, but, yet, yeah, they still swear up and down that it's real. Do I believe it's real? No, not at all. Now that I've seen all this, not at all. It, it it's, it, I, they got me fooled, though. I I, I I guess you could say that. Um, man, I got to get at it. The rain is really bothering me. And so um, I guess that's my video for today. I just wanted to clear the air. And, you know, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You know what I mean? Was I 
when I really think hard on it, did I... Now I believe that ghosts are definitely real. No, I wasn't really thinking in terms of that. I, I just... I wasn't thinking much of it at all, you know? Um, I've been convinced of... Um, paranormal, otherworldly things long ago based on my own life experiences, you know what I mean? Not based on any thing anyone else has ever said or done you know what I, you know what i'm saying so um i just didn't i i didn't put a whole lot of thought into it but if i'm wrong i'm wrong if anyone ever catches me in anything feel free to point it out to me and i'll look into it and if i'm wrong i'm wrong so i took the video down i don't want to be promoting I wasn't get. I, it wasn't even. I, it had no ad revenue anyway, so it's pointless for me to have this up, where I'm promoting what I believe believe to be false. I'm not, you know. So, anyways, I guess that's the end of this video. Let me get out of the rain. I got to do stand up tonight. Next Patreon video is going to go up tomorrow or Friday. What's today? Wednesday? Maybe tomorrow. It, it, tomorrow or Friday. I'm not making any promises. I got to go respond to some comments on patreon right now but um and i'm open for debate on patreon if anyone can find any way to debunk anything i'm saying or doing on patreon feel free point it out to me let me look into it i'll take down anything that that i do not believe is real i'll put it to you that way i'm not i'm not in this to um there's more important things to me than just generating income. So I'm not generating anything off of lies. I, I, I answer to God. I don't answer to people. So I'm not interested in selling bullshit. So anyways, uh, appreciate every single one of you. Thanks for the likes, comments, subs. Feel free to, you know, give me your opinion in the comments. Um, if you really want a response, try to get it within the first 30. Um... But yeah, I just, I wanted to get this video out of the way and clear my name. <laughs> I don't want to be connected to anyone's hoax, and I don't want to be promoting anyone's hoax. So, and uh, I guess that's about it. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Everybody have a good one.